Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The ultimate destination for all things historical. I'm your host, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this enlightening voyage. To make it easier to navigate, we'll break down our comparison into several key aspects. Let's begin with geography and the vast territories these empires encompassed. Number 1. Geography. Both the Qing Dynasty and the British Raj controlled immense territories, but where they held their dominion was vastly different. The Qing Dynasty, which ruled China from 1644 to 1912, was one of the largest empires in history, stretching from the East China Sea to the Himalayas. It encompassed a vast and diverse landscape, including the vast plains of the north and the lush, fertile lands of the south. In contrast, the British Raj, which ruled India from 1858 to 1947, controlled the Indian subcontinent. It was a patchwork of princely states, and the British had their influence over nearly two-thirds of the subcontinent. This geographical distinction set the stage for different cultural, economic, and political dynamics. As we delve deeper, we'll explore the impact of this geographical diversity on culture and society. Stay tuned. Number 2. Cultural Impact Culture is a vital part of any empire, and both the Qing Dynasty and the British Raj had profound cultural influences. The Qing dynasty was characterized by Confucianism, a deeply ingrained philosophy that guided Chinese society for centuries. It emphasized the importance of family, morality, and tradition. The Qing emperors maintained these traditions and even expanded Chinese culture by embracing elements of Manchu culture from the north. On the other hand, the British Raj was a period of cultural exchange. It brought together diverse Indian cultures under British administration, leading to a blend of traditions, languages, and religions. This period also witnessed the introduction of British customs, education, and legal systems, leaving a lasting impact on modern India. Cultural dynamics were vastly different in these empires, and they continue to shape the regions even today. Let's move on to another crucial aspect, the economy. Number 3. Economic Systems Economic systems are the lifeblood of any empire, Let's see how the Qing dynasty and the British Raj managed their economies. The Qing dynasty primarily relied on agriculture, with rice, wheat, and millet being the staple crops. Their economy was self-sufficient, and they engaged in trade along the Silk Road, exporting goods like silk and porcelain to the world. In the British Raj, a significant transformation occurred. The British introduced a cash crop economy, with a focus on tea, cotton, and opium. The Indian economy became heavily dependent on these cash crops, and the revenue generated was siphoned off to Britain, impacting India's economic self-sufficiency. The economic disparities between these empires had profound consequences on the livelihoods of the people. We'll dive deeper into these effects shortly. Number 4. Political Governance Political governance is where we see some stark differences between the Qing dynasty and the British Raj. The Qing dynasty was an absolute monarchy, ruled by emperors of the Aizenjoro clan. They maintained the Mandate of Heaven, a concept that legitimized their rule. The bureaucracy was organized around the Confucian civil service examination system, which emphasized knowledge and merit. In contrast, the British Raj was a colonial regime, with India being a significant part of the British Empire. Governance was largely in the hands of British officials. While Indians were involved in administration, they were often marginalized and had limited decision-making power. The governance structures of these empires had a lasting impact on their respective regions and set the stage for independence movements. Stay with us as we delve into the consequences. Number 5. Legacy and Consequences Now, let's talk about the legacies left behind by the Qing Dynasty and the British Raj. The Qing dynasty's legacy is a complex tapestry. On one hand, they expanded China's territory, art, and culture. On the other, the later years were marked by decline, leading to the collapse of the dynasty and the emergence of the Republic of China. The British Raja's legacy is also multifaceted. While it modernized India's infrastructure and institutions, it also left a divided subcontinent, with deep-seated religious and political tensions. 
The struggle for independence culminated in 1947 with the partition of India and Pakistan. The legacies of these empires continue to shape the modern world, and our exploration has only scratched the surface. Number 6. Colonial versus Indigenous Rule The Qing Dynasty was a native Chinese dynasty founded by the Manchu people. It was a period of indigenous rule in China. The British Raj was a period of British colonial rule in the Indian subcontinent. It represented foreign rule over a large part of South Asia. Number 7. Resistance and Revolts Rebellion and Boxer Rebellion, which were responses to social and political issues. India witnessed several movements and uprisings against British rule, including the Indian Mutiny of 1857 and the non-violent struggle for independence led by figures like Mahatma Gandhi and Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Number 8. End of the Era The Qing Dynasty came to an end with the Xinhai Revolution in 1912, which led to the establishment of the Republic of China. The British Raj ended in 1947, with the partition of India and the creation of two independent nations, India and Pakistan. The Qing Dynasty and the British Raj were two distinct historical periods in two different parts of the world, and they had a significant impact on the regions they governed. Please like this video and share it with your friends and for more videos please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon for notification of my new videos.